Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to program the Motorola HT1000. It's a nice choice for a radio as it can be found very cheaply on eBay, but do not get one if you do not know how to program it. It's the most important part. Alright, a lot of people say that you have to have a real DOS PC to program this radio. I found that all to be true with the most recent firm, uh, I'm programming software, um, which I can provide for you. Just leave me a comment. I cannot post it publicly due to legal reasons. Just leave me a comment and we can get in touch. Windows what I use is just a standard 32-bit Windows XP installation on a real PC. It'll probably still work in, um, in a VM and a prolific USB to serial adapter. It works fine. I have had any issues. So yeah, what you're going to want to do, make sure you have a good battery and it's charged up. Take your radio, plug the cable on, and turn it on. You'll see the light go green and you hear a beep. So what you want to hear, set your radio down. Make sure the cable is not snug or anything. Make sure it doesn't get tagged or whatever. Does it get moved around? Now go to your computer, you click start. Go to my computer, you click properties. Go to hardware, click device manager, and go to COM port. See what your COM port is for your radio. Mine is COM4. Yours may be different. Keep that in mind and get your COM port. Remember that COM port. Open your software that you may have gotten from me or anyone else. Make sure to unzip it first. Open it. Open the EXE. And click any button. Your font will look different. I just selected mine as this. Click this. Click F9. And then, but this is the most important part. Make sure your COM port is correct. Mine is COM4, so it is correct. Then, once you make sure your radio is on and plugged in, click F3. And if it says COM test successful, you're good to go. That means your radio is communicating with the computer. If it says unsuccessful, then you need to check your cables and try it again. Now click F10 and click F3. And then click F2 to get the data off the radio. It'll read the code plug. Do not touch the radio, do not mess with anything. And then it'll reset and you'll hear a beep and it'll say reset complete. Now you can program the radio. Click F10 and click F4. And then I'll be showing you how to do the TPT hack first. What you want to do, click F3, go to signaling, which is F7, go to DTMF, phone list, F5, and select DTMF TX pre time to 250 milliseconds, DTMF digit duration to 2472 milliseconds, and DTMF inter digit delay to the same setting, 24.72 milliseconds. Click F2, select to access the access type to automatic, DTMF to tone type to continuous, use your phone list programming to enabled, DTMF pre emphasis to enabled, DTMF cytone type to 900 Hz type, and DTMF ANI type to none. I have mine set to key up, but put yours to none for now. Make yourself a DTMF ANI code, um, put it whatever you want, and click F10. And this is if you want the MDC tone at the end of your transmission as well. I do, so I set it as that. Click F3, after you click F10 a few times, go here and set yours to D key. That's the important part. The D key after you put some information there and there. And then go to F5, F2, after you get to that menu, you make sure you put key up. Then you will get this tone when you key up. That's what you want. After that, get out. And now I'll be showing you how to um, add new channels to the radio. Click F4. This is your channels. RX, TX, frequency. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then what you want to do to make the sound come through, the, the PTTID sound, the PTT key up sound, go to PTTID and click Enabled. And that's it. It should work. You should hear this sound when you key up. There you go. That's all you have to do. And now to program the radio, click F9. Go to F3. Com test. Make sure everything's working. Then go to F10. Go to F3. Uh, and click F8. Your radio will now be right in the code plug. Do not touch anything. Do not unplug anything. And then once your radio resets, you'll see reset complete and your radio is programmed. And now you will hear this sound when you key up the radio. And there you go. That's how you program TPT hack and channels into your radio. The bonus, this is for the bonus at the end. If you would like to know how to program other things, such as I'll show you right now, you like to program the scan list, click F8, is your channels. Select the channels you do not want to scan here. I do not want to scan this is the weather channel for me. I selected disabled. It works fine, and there you go. That's all you have to do. That's it. And click F2. I mean, F10, F10, click F2 now, grab the program, 
And there you go. That's how it works. Works great. You don't need special equipment. Just works. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.